One, at just one inch under 30 feet, roughly 5,500 pounds dry, you are looking at what I call, they say it'll sleep three people, but trust me, this is a couple's coach and you're gonna love the redesigned rear kitchen layout of the all new Keystone Bullet 258 RKS. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young. Bob and I have a lot of fun. We get in here and start talking about these RVs. Now, this one, the all-new Keystone Bullet 258 RKS, or if you're on the West Coast, the RKSWE. Love the coastal cottage layout. Really like the redesign of the kitchen in this rear kitchen uh, travel trailer. Now, depending on the configuration, this one will sleep five plus. This one that I'm going to show you today because it has the recliners in it, will only sleep, I'm gonna say three, maybe four, if you got a couple of small kids coming with you. But this is a great couple's RV for that couple that's active, that wants to get out, keep some creature comforts of home, but really doesn't need to go full-blown luxury RV. These are comfort travel trailers built by Keystone, which is one of the best-selling brands across the country. They're known for their manufacturing. They got color-coded wiring, so it's easy to fix and find things. Color-coded tubing, same, 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 same. Plus, they got quality manufacturing that you're going to see all the way around. For example, over here on the campsite, you see my super slide, solid wood construction with the beveled inlay, really giving it a designer look and a designer feel. Add that to the coastal cottage decor with the solid wood balances going around my large panoramic windows and the privacy shades. Just really feels like I'm in a little vacation home, which is what I like about RVs, especially couples coaches, because you're not stuck to having an RV in one spot or, you know, hey, you know, we bought a timeshare in Myrtle Beach when sometimes you just want to go to the mountains or sometimes you want to go to Jackson Hole. With RVs, you can go see America the safest way possible. That's why they become so popular. Well, since we're back here over here on the campsite, let's start over here. You'll notice you got dual USB charging ports on both sides. I like that because nowadays people really do want to keep charged. They want to keep connected. So you're always going to have phones and tablets. You got the plush leatherette Thomas Paine recliners right here that do have the optional armrest storage. They are plush, they are comfortable, they kick out the, these recliners. You open up the windows, get the cross breeze going. I've knocked out numerous times inside those chairs, despite what some people who don't know me will leave in comments. Yes, you can sleep on these things, trust me. Cup holders there as well, plus a little storage area right there. And you'll notice too, with the slides, what they've done for 2021 is they've taken the carpet out of the slides. Uh, nice feature because it just makes it easier to clean, uh, gives it more of a nicer appeal. So you got that woven material inside the slide. Now over here on the dinette, uh, it's a little bit low, uh, but it is a dream dinette. So I, I guess we're trading that off. This is fully extended though. So, but having the dream dinette means I don't have the legs down here. So I'm not knocking my legs or my kids aren't knocking their legs uh, against those pipes. Now, with this plush leather booth dinette, I got storage underneath, shaker stop cabinets, hideaway hinges, good area there. It's not like some rickety drawer that pulls out that's not even on the slide. Plus you got the uh, brush nickel hinges all the way around. It, it's, it's just more to me aesthetically pleasing. This is that mid-level RV. If you've already had one, this is the upgrade for you. Uh, but the Dream Dinette reduces down into a sleeper, but right here is where you do the reconnecting. Enjoy the camp cook meals, enjoy playing the games, the board games, the trivia, whatever. Just getting out, disconnecting, and reconnecting with the family. The slides are roughly five feet, eight inches, I believe, uh, in height. So if you're like me, you're over six foot, you just gotta watch it when you get up because you're gonna knock your noggin. Bobby, on the other hand, can just fit right under. He's fine. Yeah, you can't see, but he's just swaying right underneath. The barrel ceilings with 81 inch high ceiling heights here. All total, this RV is 10 feet, eight inches tall with the AC. So, you know, you gotta watch out for that because most RVs range from nine to 11 feet. This one pushing that barrier at 10, eight. Uh, travel trailers, that is. Now, along the rear wall, we have our redesigned rear kitchen. I like the storage shelf that we have right here with the 110 outlet. So I could have me a coffee station here. Got some storage right there. That, that could technically be good mudroom storage. Um, I mean, the great thing about RV is you can put whatever you want in your RV. Once again, the beautiful coastal cottage theme. I like it. It's kind of like a, a off grayish white. 
So hopefully, uh, you know, when you're viewing this, you can kind of tell it, it is a really nice touch. It's not just white. There is some texture there to it. Shaker style cabinets, hideaway hinges once again. To me, this if a manufacturer is going to take the extra step of putting hideaway hinges in their cabinetry, that means they've taken the extra steps in making sure this is a well-built RV. Just a, you know, just an opinion thing. Storage all the way around. You are not going to be lacking for storage and pantry space inside of this one. Now, along the off-camp wall, we have our modified L-shaped kitchen right here with the pressed countertop. I like the design in there. We got the undermounted stainless steel sink with the high-rise faucet. I would have liked to have seen a sprayer nozzle here, but I got windows on both sides. Got two here in the rear, one on the off-camp, not only for light, but also for good cross breeze. And I like how they made the backsplash this whole area, not just you know one little applique behind the cook area or behind the sink. To me, just adds more of that residential feel. Solid wood construction here on our drawers. Ball bearing drives, full extension. They even have it finished off, a little applique in there. Storage cabinet here. And some storage right yonder. <clears throat> nice little touch. You got the recessed Furion three burner cooktop right here with the glass cover, giving you more prep space and some security. Plus this also doubles as a backsplash for you. High output on that front burner. You got the not the light for the night light. It's also the oven light on there as well. You got the Furion 16 inch oven right there. I like that. My access panel, my LP02 detector, my hood, and my Furion flush mounted microwave. Uh, 900 watts on that one. And you know what? To me, this is just th this is just a manufacturer going a little bit of an extra step. All the appliances match. Everything's Furion. It's not a mismatch. To me, that's that's just a thing for me. Might not be for you, but it is for me. 10 cubic foot GE 12 volt fridge freezer combo right here with the lock. You'll notice you got your cool controls and your off controls right there. And you got the travel lock on there as well, which really comes in handy. Now this one, you cannot access the fridge when you're in transit, but you can access the bathroom, but you just have to go through the bedroom to get there. You got a little hideaway pantry right here. Nice feature or entertainment component. They, uh, on the Keystone site, they call it the hideaway pantry. Um, but really at the end of the day, like I said uh, here just a few minutes ago, it's your RV. You can do with it and put whatever you want. If you say, Chris, this is where I'm going to hide the good Girl Scout cookies. Bam. There you go. Get your key TV multi-source connection right here, combining all of your entertainment in one spot, plus your GFCI outlet for your entertainment, for your TV right there. Boom. TV is on the swivel arm. So that's a nice little feature. Plus you got your frosted glass inlays right here hideaway hinges. Would like to see some strut supporting on that, uh, but hey, hideaway hinges are good. Another little component shelf right there. Now that's actually a nice deep shelf. That's a good spot. Um, wallet, phone, keys, the whole nine, uh, or just, you know, your entertainment components if you want to put them there. You got your Furion AM FM command center right here with DVD player, CD player. It is Bluetooth and dual zone plus has USB and HDMI. Uh, and what's cool is uh, they even have apps now that can control the entertainment for you. More storage underneath. Bazinga. Just a well-built, good mid-level RV. Now this one comes with a 13.5 BTU AC uh, that has the blade ducting in it. The blade system is a distribution system that takes the air and gives you about roughly 30% more air because of how it's distributed. Uh, and with Keystone's heating, the way they do the ducting, they put tough lock joints in between the ducting so that it's almost indestructible, AKA you won't get those soft spots in the floor. And you got a 30K BTU furnace on this one. Got the beautiful slip resistant, easy to clean flooring. Angled door right here with the hanger, leading me into my pass-through bathroom. Now, plastic bowl with the foot flush here. And since this is a walkthrough, I'm big on my separation of space inside my RV. Because if I have the kids or if I have family members coming to stay with us, I want to be able to just get away, for lack of a better term. Because, you know, I love my family, but sometimes you... You just need your space. Yeah. Thank you, Robert. So there we have our space. 
they need to use a restroom and vice versa. You can do it without disturbing them. If somebody's sleeping in there or if you're sleeping in here, they can come in and use a restroom without waking everybody up inside the RV. A little storage area over here and my corner mounted vanity sink with the brushed nickel faucet plus a little medicine cabinet. Ooh, no raised lip there. Not a fan of that. So if you are in transit, just be careful if you do put stuff in here. Uh, when you go to open this up, there's a chance it might fall out on you. But you do have the glass enclosed neo angled shower right here. I like this. There we go. Got the little vent and fan right here. Got the single shower surround corner angled with the 81 inch high ceilings being six foot two. I'm not cramped uh, left or right or up or down. Plus I got the glass enclosed. So you do get some privacy there. Pass through into the master. You do have a 60 by 80 queen size bed in this one. With the storage underneath, once again, would like to see some strut supporting in there. And you even have a little cubby storage on both sides of the bed. So you got USB charging and 110 on both sides, plus a little storage shelf. Good spot for if you need, uh, you know, a light. Maybe you got a CPAP machine that uses 110. Uh, you could put it there. You have the laundry chute, which I'm always a fan of, which is accessible from the outside. Just throw your basket in there, drop your dirty clothes. Got a drawer and a ward. Plus you got the frosted glass inlay in the storage compartments up top. I like that. Got a window here on the off camp side, window there, and LCD TV mounting bracket right here on the front wall, which I, I like having them here versus on the opposing walls, because then when you're laying in bed and if you do want to watch TV, you're not turned to watching it this way. And you got your key TV multi-source connection and 110 right there. The only thing that you don't really have in here that I'm used to seeing is the mirrored ward storage. Uh, I mean, shaker style cabinets are fine, but just odd, I don't see the mirrors. All right. All in all, Keystone Bullet 258 RKS. Great little rear kitchen couples coach for doing some entertaining, getting out and seeing America the safest way possible. You even got your little storage shelves right here for your spices if you got the small ones. Or your miniature Ric Flair and Dusty Rhodes figurines like I have, I put in my RV. We've seen the inside of this beautiful 258 RKS. What do you say we go take a gander, RV and outdoors, at the outside? So here we are on the outside, the 2021 Keystone Bullet 258 RKS. You'll see the aerodynamic fiberglass front cap right here with the running lights, giving you that aggressive profile, but also helps going down the road with the wind resistance. Diamond plated rock guard. You got that single welded frame going all the way underneath. Got your twin 20 pound LP tanks right here. Power tongue jack with LED lights. You got your rocker switches to move that up and down. Got your battery disconnect right there behind it as well. And I like what Keystone does with the bullets, how they do the pass through storage. Not only is it finished off, you have the wall right here with the pegs. So if you need to do some additional storage or some moving around to hang things, I like having this feature here, but look how big the storage is on this one. Underneath, you'll see that we do have an enclosed underbelly. Plus we got our power stabilizer jacks. You got the Solera, arm, uh, the Solera awning right here with the LED running lights. There's my dual marine grade speakers, giving me some outside entertainment, sealed safety glass that's tinted all the way around. 26 inch friction hinge door on this one with the extra large grab handle and the solid steps. With Keystone, you're gonna get the true fit slides on this one as well, which means the slides just fit a little bit better. They're made for the space that's there. You do that, you reduce the use of components to move them in and out, reducing things that can break. Now, Bob, I know it's a little tight, but maybe you can get under there and see. You got those beautiful aluminum rims right there, the Dexter Easy Lube axles on this one, really giving you a much smoother and secure of a ride going down the road. Right here, weird placement for it, but we do have a giant slide here on the campsite. But if you wanna do your outside entertainment, you got your key TV multi-source connection right here and your power port right there. Uh, the only thing I don't like is, Bob, if you pan up, it's not under the awning. Just not a fan of that. But once again, as a couples coach, a vacation home, if you will, to me, I won't really use this. Most of the entertainment we'll be doing will be inside if we're gonna be watching anything. Out here, I'll be doing some grilling or just hanging out with the friends. 
four by four sewer hose storage there, spare tire mounted on the back. We are set up for backup cameras. So if you wanna get that installed, get our service folks to do it. And you'll notice with that barrel style ceiling that we had on the inside, those 81 inch high ceilings, look at the arch there, really making sure that the rain, the snow does not stay on top of our RV and the rubber nozzles there, make sure it doesn't fall on you or the slides. Solid mounted ladder, back of the furnace right there. Ah, and here we go, Bobby. That's our main terminations under there, our gray tanks and black tanks. Now you got a 43 gallon fresh tank, 60 gallon gray and 30 gallon black tank on this one. Giving you some pretty good space to do some boondocking if you want. 30 amp service plug right there. Other side of the tires and over here are the other terminations as well as our low point drains. And you'll notice with Keystone, they color code everything. That's why you got the red and the blue for the hot and cold. Now, I like how we do have the external command center right here behind the storage. You'll notice you got the porthole here giving you some secure connections. So if you want to set up everything, you don't have to worry about people messing with your connections, but you got your water heater bypass. You do have a six gallon water heater bypass on that one. This one that, that is either gas or electric. Got your winterization your fill right there, fresh water connection, city water connection, key TV multi-source connection right here, and the controls for our stabilizer jacks, as well as our external shower and the other side of our pass-through storage. All the storage doors on these, magnetic, anti-slam with covered hinges. But the most important part of any RV that you're gonna get is gonna be this info panel right here. As you'll notice, the unloaded vehicle weight on this one, 5,600 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 7,600 pounds. The Keystone Bullet Ultralights were made to try to fit in that half ton to sometimes even SUV mode of, of towing, but always take that information back to your specialist at Camping World and at Gander and say, hey, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Here's how many people I need to sleep. And here's where I'm gonna go camping. Is this what's right for me? Because at the end of the day, that's really what we need to guide you down the path of finding the RV that's gonna fit your lifestyle best. But for just a shade under 30 feet, 5,600 pounds dry, can sleep three people comfortably, maybe four if you got the kids in that booth dinette. I gotta tell you, man, love the kitchen layout, like the redesign. If you're looking for that mid-level RV, this Keystone Bullet 258 RKS is one to put on the top of your list. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it, what you not like about it, because we love hearing from you. I'm Chris Young for Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the bullet. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Until then, come check out a camper, man. They're fun.